Hello everybody, welcome to a lovely sort of evening out here. I'm uh, finally taking the opportunity to put some soil onto the top of that little bunker garden that we built and get started testing out that three sisters gardening method more or less in the, the JT Bear kind of way. Since this back portion of the garden plot beside it is as of yet unused, I've just loosened up the soil in there. I'm going to grab some of that from there for now and get to covering the top of the bunker. So I didn't want to dig too deep down into the garden there. I'm going to have to fill that back up again eventually. But I did get at least something of a layer on top of our hay, straw, clippings, whatever you want to call it, that we filled the bunker with. Next up I've got more of this Golden Beauty hybrid corn. This is the same stuff I planted in the patch over there with the four rows of it. And in keeping with the rest of the theme this year, using up the rest of it, to completely overplant, but at least that's standard JT style. Overplanting is what I do. All right, time to cover that up and uh, figure out the peas and beans, I guess. So after a moment's reflection, I've decided I'm not gonna cover these up just yet. I'm actually gonna put out all of my rows of seeds so I kinda know where things are. Then I'll soak it, and then I'll cover it and soak it again. So these are the beans that I laid down there. It's the same as I planted in the other plot, like three rows of them. Again, you know, way over planting, but I have such little faith in whether or not this garden's going to work. I figure I might as well give it a good solid go. Next up, I'm going to have a row of these homesteader peas, and then we'll get into some squash. So putting both beans and peas in there, I know I'm already diverging from the standard three sisters, but that's just life, isn't it? So it's time for a row of squash along the front here, and then a good soaking. So for the squash row, I'm going with pumpkin-y type things and iced tea. I'm not planting that, but this first one here was a gift from our neighbor when we first got here. These are a giant type of pumpkin. Never grown anything quite like that, so really hopeful that these do well. Next up, I've got some Burgess Buttercup squash. Brother Troll sent me, so many thanks again, Troll Forge, for those. Then I've got some of these sugar or pie pumpkins. These are the ones I tried starting in the house already. They uh, started fairly quickly for me, but then also died pretty quick after that. And the final variety is these fairy tale pumpkins that 8 Yori sent me. I'm really looking forward to those. Looks like uh, the perfect carriage pumpkin. So we'll see how they do. I have to say, looking at those giant pumpkin seeds, those are, I think, the biggest pumpkin seeds I've ever seen in my life. Next up, we've got those Burgess Buttercups closer to your standard pumpkin seed size. Next up we've got the sugar or pie pumpkin seeds. Oh, I've been uh, looking forward to some homegrown pumpkins for decent pumpkin pie for quite some time, so let's just quick prayer for these guys, shall we? And in the corner closest to the windmill garden we have the fairy tale squash. A very cool looking pumpkin type. So. There we go. Corn, beans, peas, and a variety of pumpkins. Water and soil, and this project is done. A quick for the record clip of everything nicely soaked down. The proof is in the moved iced tea. And there it is, all watered in and in theory ready to go. We'll check back on this with the uh, weekend Sundays in the Gardens videos, and uh, hopefully I will have some lovely progress to report. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me here today with my variation or adaptation on the whole Three Sisters Gardening. I guess it's Four Sisters Gardening the way I've got it here, Four Sisters in a Bunker if you want to make it really dirty, but, you know, it's gardening, it gets dirty. Thank you so much for sticking around at this point if you've made it. I will see you, well, probably on Sunday for sure, and maybe before then with something from the Ponics, who knows. Take care, everybody.